Hi everyone, Isabel Hunt here. For those who don't know me, I wanted to record a quick video to help you through the holidays. If you don't follow me through my newsletter, I know there are all kind of different outlets to follow me, so I never know who is reading what, but I want to serve everyone, and so I want to serve different outlets as well. And so today I want to share with you a little video about five tips to make it through the holidays. Um, here in the U.S., we still have Thanksgiving coming up. I know other countries already had it in October and September, I believe, uh, but we still have it coming up in next week. And I know there there's a lot going on with family gatherings and here in the US everything is a little bigger compared to me where I grew up in Germany it's a little bit more laid back and it's not as stressful as it is here to be honest at least that's my experience even though we keep it very low-key and um, I don't have much preparing to do either because we always go to my mother-in-law's but I know a lot of my clients complain like oh the holidays are coming up people I'm gonna be so drained uh, then I need a whole month in January to recoup and recover from everything that happened uh, over the last few weeks and I want this for you to be an enjoyable time so I have five tips that are really quite simple and something that you really have to pay attention to no matter if you're an empath or not I think it's really important for everyone during this time but i think especially for empath this is even more important and i have five tips i may have a little bit of a bonus depending on what shows up in my mind what i feel like i want to share so the first one is acknowledge and understand your limits this is the really most important one if if you are not if you don't know where your limits are, you will get crushed real easily. So for example, maybe a four hour family gathering or family get together is not something that you can survive um, without having to sleep for a whole week after. If that's the case, um, organize things, put it in place that you can leave either earlier, maybe you, you can take the car or maybe wherever you're going, or even when you're in your own home, you can set some time aside, like even if it's just 10 minutes to go into a different room, close the door and put some earplugs in or some, excuse me, some um, calming music where you can just relax and rejuvenate and just really be with yourself so that you can after that be with other people. So understand and acknowledge your limits. Let other people know what you need and what really helps you so you don't get drained as quickly or not at all if possible and the second tip is do not engage in any kind of gossiping that is your death sentence if you do like literally because we know everything is energy you've heard me talk about that a lot and so gossiping is considered the very low vibration heavy negative energy that we don't really want to deal with and I, I've said it a couple times and even talking about that in my book, The um, Power of Faith-Driven Success, if you want to check it out on Amazon, words you use, use you. And so when you start gossiping about someone, at some point it will come back to you. This whole energy is just a back and forth, an interchange of um, energetic vibration. And we don't want that because, again, it lowers your a body body's frequency and the lower your own body's frequency the faster you get drained and sick and so we want to keep our vibration high and so we don't want to involve or get involved in any kind of gossiping the really easiest response you can give that is often already enough is thank you for sharing i hear you don't get into any more leave it at that and really, in most cases, people just want to be heard. That's all there is. People just want to be heard. They just want to vent. And if you don't have to find ways to agree with them or find ways to um, somehow belong, you can just say, thank you for sharing. I hear you. And leave it at that. People might be like, oh, what? That's just, shouldn't you say something? No, you don't. You don't have to. It is about you and how you can be the most present and the, the best version of you and the best version of you is not engaging in any kind of gossip that lowers your vibrational energy. 
because then you have all those ripple effects happening that you have to deal with afterwards and you want to avoid that because you actually want to enjoy the holidays. Okay, so the third point is create your personal space. You can do this exercise really easily. And what you do, um, you literally, and maybe you want to practice that before you go somewhere where it's really busy, but what you do, you just focus on your heart and you envision a bright light of the center of your heart that is slowly expanding and filling you up from the inside. And then at some point, it is all the way outside of you about the arm length, the length of your arm around you, top to bottom. And within that space, you can envision your favorite place, if it's the mountains or the beach or just anywhere that you really, really love to be. And you just hold that feeling of rejuvenation, of relaxation within you. And so it's almost like a bubble where you become the observer, where you can watch what is going on, but you don't have to take it all on. Like you still see, you can still feel, it doesn't matter. Like you can still interact, obviously. But um, you, you just feel more protected. You become more of the observer. In my case, I do that often when I go grocery shopping, when there are a lot of people, I just do that. And then suddenly I can feel how I become more calm, how I can focus and don't um, buy into or don't give into the, um, the stress of that is going on around me. So practice that. It really, really does help. The fourth point is an exercise that I love by Carla McLaren. I love her uh, work as well. It's called conscious complaining. And so what you can do instead of going home and suppressing everything that is annoying you or you're already starting before you even get there or before people come to your place, um, set some time aside. For example, 10 minutes, you can set the clock. You either pick a wall or when you go somewhere, you use the use your car and you set the time and you say, I am now consciously complaining. And you said, you say everything that comes to mind that you just want to complain about the person, the people, the whatever comes to mind, just let it all out. And um, after 10 minutes, you stop and you bless whatever you complained at, for example, the wall or your car, you bless the car, you bless the wall, and you say, thank you for allowing you to consciously complain. And then you envision the energy of the complaining leaving the wall, the car, like really leaving the room. And you will feel the conscious complaining is so freeing. You go into a place that is, um, you just feel more free and more available because you let it all out. So that is another exercise that is really awesome to implement. And then another one is um, stay present. I think one thing that we forget during the holidays is it's not about stress. It is actually about it, the, the end of the year is a time of reflection. And we often are so distracted that we don't even have time to reflect. And then in January, look back like, oh my gosh, what happened in December? Now I feel like I have to look back on everything that, that I want to do. And, and there's just no preparation for the new year. And then we already feel exhausted in January. And then we exhaust ourselves even more throughout the year. We don't want that. Stay present in the moment. Don't conform to all the pressure that surrounds you and you have to do this you have to cook this meal you have to be that fancy you have to write that many cards pick pick what is really important to you what you can prioritize at that point for example i choose this year not to write everyone cards or to even order cards instead i'm gonna just send out emails thank god for global communication through email and Facebook and everything else and through those videos <laughs> it's pretty good um, but I will I'll keep it simple this year and and even with gifts I'm pretty much done because what I've done was over the year every month I bought one gift for example for my son his birthday's right before Christmas so it's always a little bigger um, but I'm not stressed at all because I have everything same with my husband the same with my in-laws the same with my parents like I've already pretty much finished before the holidays even start so I can actually enjoy things. And then one thing that I heard of one of my clients um, reported back to me, she's like, I need to tell you this. It's really awesome. Uh, what she did 
Well, actually, in our group, World Visionaries United, we, we had a talk about how to protect yourself as well. And we were actually having a conversation. And uh, one of my moderators, she said, well, what really helps too is if you have a white candle burning next to the door and you bless and pray over the candle, setting the intention that no negative energy can leave or can can come into your house. And then one, one of them who was part of the discussion, she shared with me, she said, I need to share something with you. I didn't do the candle, but I did something similar. So before her in-laws came over, she sat in the middle of her house and prayed and blessed the house. And then she went to each door and put her hands on the door and set the intention of blessing it and not allowing any negative energy to come through the store. And if it does, that it has to leave once the people leave. And she did that and she said, oh my gosh, I need to tell you, my husband was with his parents before and they were really like, there was a lot of tension and just kind of off. And then once they came into the house, it felt like they were different people. And she said she felt so much lighter, it actually felt great and it felt good and she was able to share. And so she's not going to do that for everything that's going to come up for the holidays. So try it. It really does help. Um, again, the, the praying and the blessing over the doors in the house is similar to the candle because the candle itself has a very high vibration. So this helps. So again, that was a little bit of a bonus, which I wanted to share with you because it's, it's really awesome. So if you just do a few of, of those tips, you will, I promise you, you will experience the holidays more relaxed. You at the end will actually feel, at the end of this year, you actually will feel rejuvenated and relaxed and ready to take on January of 2018. Um, if this was helpful to you, I would love to hear from you. Just leave a little comment below. Uh, maybe share it with others that can benefit from it. I know in my newsletter was shared quite a bit. I saw that. Uh, so it must be an important topic for people to hear about. And I think those are pretty simple and easy, easy exercises or things to remember. So just to, if you want me to summarize it real quick, so you remember, first one that I mentioned was um, acknowledge and understand your limits and communicate them clearly. The second one, do not engage in any kind of gossiping because it brings down your own um, vibration, your body's frequency, and that has a really bad ripple effect down the road anyways, and, and you need to have this time at the end to rejuvenate and add more well-being exercises to your schedule than what you may have time for. The third one, create your personal space. That exercise that I mentioned to you, expanding the white light that's coming from your heart. Uh, the fourth one, great exercise by Carla McLaren, conscious complaining, use your wall or your car and complain for 10 minutes and let it all out. Bless it, think it and let go of the energy. And then the fifth uh, exercise or the fifth tip that I gave you is stay present. Don't conform to the pressure of this holiday traditions, whatever, set your priorities and be okay with whatever you can get done and what not is fine but don't conform to the pressure. Nothing has to be perfect. Stay present in the moment so you can actually enjoy what is going on. And then the bonus was, we'll talk about that in my group, World Visionaries United, if you want to join us. I don't know, we're in Facebook, to Facebook, World Visionaries United, um, Empath Warriors, uh, where we talked about if you have people come over, set a candle, a burning candle next to the door. If you have kids, set it a little higher so they don't, accidentally knock it over um, and set the intention pray over the candle that no negative and heavy energy can enter your house the same you can just bless over the house um, maybe put your enter your your hand on the doors and bless it and and really set the intention same way with the candle that heavy and negative energy cannot come into your home and if it does it has to leave with the people it doesn't it cannot stay there so again, I've, I've seen really amazing results with that with my clients, with myself, and I hope it supports you. And let me know if it does or share. I would love to hear from you. Have a wonderful, wonderful day and a great celebration of the holidays. If you still have Thanksgiving coming up or if you start with Christmas or Hanukkah, whatever it is, I know most of us, even if you don't celebrate Christmas, there's still some friends and family gatherings because at the end of the year, even if it's a New Year's Eve party, right? So have an amazing, amazing day and I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye.